Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how to compute a lease or purchase decision. So let's say you have a computer that you want to buy and you are trying to decide whether to purchase the computer or lease it. And let's uh, put some numbers here. Let's say the cost of the computer is $2,000. And let's say if you want to lease it, the annual lease payment is $700. So if you were to purchase it, you would basically pay the entire cost upfront of $2,000. If you were to lease it, you would instead pay $700 as your first installment and $700 in the at the end of the first year, second year and third year. And now we want to compare the two alternatives. So if you look at the total cash flow for purchase, it is simply $2,000. Whereas if you look at the total cash flow for lease, you need to compute the net present value of these cash flows. And one way to do that is in Excel, to first add up the zeroth period or initial cash flow plus and now you can use the NPV function NPV of the rate the rate is eight percent and the set of values are the values in C8 through C10 and you can close the parenthesis press enter so this here is the net present value of leasing so as you can see here, clearly purchasing is a smarter option because overall the lease is way too expensive. Now you can also play around a little bit with this and uh, let's say what if your lease was $580 instead of $700 and what if the annual interest rate that you can borrow at your bank is 12% instead of 10%. Now suddenly the purchase op option appears more expensive and the lease option appears less expensive. So just to give some insight into how we are computing this net present value, I'm just going to do the net present value computation in a slightly different way. So what I'm going to do is NPV calculations. I'm just going to calculate the present value of this cash flow, this, this, and this cash flows over here, and then I'm going to add them up over here. So the net present value is another way to compute this is to compute the individual present values. All right, let me just say PV here equals this amount divided by one plus the interest rate raised to the power of the year in this case a7 and i want to go back here and modify the b4 formula i want the b4 formula to remain as b4 as you drag this formula all the way down but i want c7 to become c8 c9 and c10 and i want a7 to become a8, A9, and A10. So I leave these two alone and I press enter. And now if you just drag the fill handle down, you will get the present value of $580 one year from now. Uh, today's present value of $580 that you will pay out one year from now is $517.86. And the present value of $580 two years from now is $462. And the present value of 580 three years from now is $412. And the sum of all of those is your present value. And you can see that this present value is identical to this value that we computed using the NPV formula of Excel. So based on this, we can also include a small if function to give our decision. If the purchase price is less than the lease cash flows, then you say, purchase if not you say lease and press enter so as you can see given these these particular numbers you want to lease but if the numbers change a little bit let's say it, it is six twenty dollars instead of five eighty then you want to do a purchase option or if you wanted this to be five eighty but if suddenly your interest rate is lesser then again you want to purchase so that's how you would make a typical buy versus lease calculation. I hope you like this. Thanks for watching.